Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don and today, today we're going back to the trippy weird side of VR. That's right. So today we're going to be taking a look at Cartoon Network's Journeys VR and man, let me tell you, dove into this one a little last night and it is too cool. So it's a free experience on Steam. You got three little mini games in there and I can't wait to jump back in and take you guys with me. So let's get in there and let's take a look at Cartoon Network's Journeys VR. Nice. Welcome, fellow traveler. I'm Gormlorm, the gateway guru, but you can just call me Gorm. What's up, Gorm? I sense that you come here seeking self-knowledge. Oh, Place yeah. this card in the fire and let's oh. be off. Okay, yeah, I could do that, but but first I'm going to check out your wizard tent here for a minute, bro. So, all right, here we are, Cartoon Network's Journeys VR. You can't start your journey without feeding the flame. I know, man. I'm going to do that really quickly here after I check out your tent. So, um, here we are. We are in the beginning of the game, obviously. It's been said that a thousand-mile um, journey starts with one step. In this case, that step is burning that card. And I'm going to do it. So, obviously, this guy's just going to keep talking, so I'm just going to keep talking over him. So, man, I, before we get started, I really wanted to give kudos to Cartoon Network's artists for this. I, You guys know I'm a sucker for graphics in VR, and, man, the texture work in here is ornate. I mean, this really looks like an old, rusted-out pot, metal pot. I mean, that is just gorgeous. The wood looks great. So, here in the tent, Lots of stuff you can play with, uh, you know, just little things like you got the uh, credits there. Um, you can uh, exit the, the, the tent there. You can reset the game. I think you can do some other stuff. I am actually in my uh, green screen area, which I don't have a lot of room to move in. So, uh, But you can walk around the entire tent room scale. It is awesome. So, all right, Gorm, I'm going to burn the card. Let's do it. Yep. You can't there start you go. your journey without feeding the flame. I fed the flame. Let's expand our horizons, shall we? Oh, Let your mental yes. walls dissolve. Yes, we and shall. Float away. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, how cool. Oh, nice effect. Very cool. Very cool. All right, so, man, I can't tell you how much the I am already digging this, and we haven't even really started the game yet. with their own lessons to teach us. I've spent my life visiting them before my extended pit stop here. The knowledge you seek is in these worlds. The direction you take is up to you. Nice. Do you want to commune with nature and see the world from a different perspective? Oh, yes, please. Uh, maybe the musical and performing arts are more your thing. Who doesn't love a captive audience? Well, I did do theater back in the or 80s. Maybe you want something more cosmic and abstract. That's the, the decision one. decision is yours. Place right. your choice in the fire. <laughs> Uh, decisions, decisions, decisions. So, all right, here we are. This is the meat and the potatoes of the, the whole experience here, guys. So you got three little mini games experiences that uh, they, the, the talented artists at Cartoon Network have cooked up for you. And uh, obviously we could just hang out here with Wizard Reggie forever. I mean, this is just so freaking nuts. So, all right, we're going to get in there. But once again, I've got a comment graphics scale everything in here looks fantastic i'm loving that skybox so all right um now before we get started i am gonna tell you i'm not gonna do the whole yes i know what to do with the card uh, i'm not gonna do the whole experience on each one of these i i, I don't want to completely give this away so uh, i'm probably gonna do just a few minutes of each one and then we'll kind of wrap it up so uh let's just go uh reading order let's go uh, beyond beville just to impress and cosmic quest so right. excellent pick i'm buzzing with excitement <laughs> you and me both brother 
Nice. Oh, cool. Oh my god, if they would have had stuff like this back in the 80s, like in the late 80s, uh, tell Big I Papa never would have come back. Um, yeah, right on, dude. I'll, I'll tell Big Papa you said it. So, let's go. Okay. Happy little music here. Got some bubbles flying around. Huh. Alright. Okay, I almost smacked in the face by a logo here. Uh, title. <laughs> what? It's like a little Cheech Marine Bee. Well, Nikita, do you have the answer? Um, 42. No? <sighs> Anyway, the answer is one. Oh, okay. One week left before this nectar shortage causes our colony to collapse. Oh no. I know you're the only one wing to be in the colony, but you still need one to wing. Help. Uh oh. Nikita. Nikita, what? Nikita. Huh? What the? Yeah, what the? Don't be oh, afraid. hey now. I'm speaking to you from another realm. Your service uh, is needed. Okay. The legends tell of a special being. Unlike any other, who will save the hive by discovering the lost city of Nectar. Nice. I think that Nikita, might be me. With your single wing, you may be that special bee. That's right. You may only have one wing, but you can still hop. Where are you going, Hank? Hey, where, where are you going, Flamey? Don't be afraid. Okay, push stick for a teleport. Boo! Okay, well, but you know what? All right, I, I'm going to give them a pass on that because they are incorporating it as a, a story element. So I'm the little one-winged bee, and apparently, like, that's how I get around in the world is I hop. So, you know, um, when, when it's incorporated, I can deal with it. But obviously, you know, you guys who watch my channel know, you know my stance on this. I, I want well, locomotion you. options. But, like I said, here, it actually makes sense. Nope, time to wake up. Okay. Beville. Yeah, see? Yeah. Okay. So, test on Tuesday, pull trigger to grab items, release to throw. So, man, I gotta tell you, the simple graphic style in here is, is actually looking pretty good, but I don't know, it, it's definitely uh, a little bit different. I don't know, so. Nectar shortage. Days of our hive. Okay. Yeah. So always a cool effect, uh, very cool. Another really cool effect I always love to see in VR is this right here. Give me a mirror any day, instant presence booster. So, all right, the devs are really hitting on all the little, you know, things that I look for. I mean, I, I love it when people, you know, make these these experiences with the, the, the fact in mind that, that you know, they want to give us all these little things that are going to help us feel more centered and, and solidly into this world. You know, so obviously lots of stuff in here to play with for the for the sake of the video here. You know, um, I, I don't like making these too long. I am just going to kind of kind of plot on because we are only going to do a couple of minutes of each experience here. Um, oh, OK, I'm here, man. Ah, there you are, Nikita. I know you've only got one wing and can't fly like the other bees, but this is an emergency and everyone needs to pitch in. Now what I need from you is to take this defective pollen back to the pollen silo for recycling. Easy Hi. enough, right? Uh, <laughs> now stick the pollen to your chest so you don't lose it on your way to the recycling uh, silo. Uh, okay, but hold on. Can I just play with it and look at it for a minute? Because that's tripping me out. All right. Great. Some of these clovers might need a little nudge, though. I'll get the first one for you. 
Oh, uh, okay, right. I see. Move along now. Get to that pond silo and stay away from the construction zone. Move along. So it looks like I just throw my little pollen guy here. I only have one wing, yeah. and I'm defective. There you go. Both outcasts. Hello there, oh. young one. Hello, you do, bug. The pollen silo is just down that clover path. Uh, okay. Um, that that's good to know. So so okay. You know, obviously it's hard to top Reggie Watts. You know, as the as the wizard guy in the beginning. Um, but I, I gotta say the the voice acting. Let's do it again. Is, uh, kind of suffering a little bit in this one so um hey cartoon network i do voices uh, just just letting you know so. oh, oh my god oh, shit. Oh, oh. yeah okay so whoa that hive is in bad shape uh-oh our hive is collapsing so we're headed to the recycling silo huh um, well, yeah, I gotta take you there because you're like a defective pollen. If you're thinking of taking that pollen to the recycling silo, that path is closed. Oh, oh no. Okay, so. Oops, I left my pollen. Maybe it'll come. No, auto spawn to me. Thank you. Okay, hey, so put me you know. On your chest. Um, okay, I am going to put you on my chest, but I think we are also going to go ahead and drop out of this one here. I mean, you guys get the gist. We're going to kind of make our way by hopping through the world and throwing the pollen. And uh, so, you know, not not really my favorite part of the experience so far, but, uh, you know, I think my kids are going to dig this. So, all right, let's go ahead and burn that card and go back to the desert and hang out with Reggie a little more and check out the next experience. Buzzkill, honey. No, yeah, it was kind of a buzzkill, bro. I agree. So, all right, you know, like I said, beyond Beeville, I'll, I'll kind of give my critique real quick before we jump into the other one. I didn't hate on it, but obviously it does not seem as high quality as what I'm seeing here. Um, you know, the voice acting seemed a little flat and stale. But overall, I'm, I'm sure it's fun. Um, now, this one, just to impress, I guess since this game is released now, I can talk about this. I, I actually tested this one for, for Fishbowl. VR a long time ago. And five fingers. <laughs> That's awesome. I could they're just really listen to him all day. Than your, your fingers, so. No, they're good fingers. They're, they're very good fingers, man. So, so you know, like I said, I it'll be interesting to see because it was like a, a well over a year ago, uh, almost a year ago or over a year ago that I tested this. So I'm interested to see how it turned out. A choice fit for a king. Yeah. That's me. This is so cool. Off you go now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is definitely the one I tested back in the day, so. Uh-oh. Oh, bro. That's not good. People of Jeff the Death. Introducing Jeff the Death. Jester of the Day. One hundred. On the spot for the oh my God! What the heck? Amusement. Don't worry. I'm sure you're like a giant a cat there down there. Dragon or Just, cat uh, dragon. Try to do something amusing. Okay, I'll be amusing. Okay. There you go. Um. Oh. Okay. Like juggle. Um. Aha. Whoa. Yeah, you like that one? That's what I'm talking about. Looks delicious. Hope the jester doesn't waste it. <laughs> yep. Yep. I humiliate myself for your amusement. Yes. Great A Whitland. Oh, it's a ball on a string and a cup. Ah! You shut up. 
That's what I'm talking about. I, I wait, saw wait, wait, you giving wait. me side eye. Is what? This a joke, guys. Why are we cheering for this? Are we so easily impressed by someone just because they're wearing a funny hat? Where's hey, you shut your mouth, buddy. Your dignity. I have more than a funny hat. I got like bells on my gloves, and you know, you're, you're fake news, man. Shut up. Oh, see, I can't even like hit you with my cabbage. Give me some more cabbage. Well, then you come do it. If you, if you think it's so easy, then you just you take my place. So, King thinks I'm funny. So you think you can jest? Well, let's step things up and see who's still laughing. <laughs> no, I don't think so because, like I said, I really kind of got to get to the next experience here so this video is not super long. So, King, I got to go. Um, but, uh, man, I got to tell you, I love this. This is so fun. Um, all right. There you go. Bye. Get it? <laughs> that king harshes my vibes too. Dude, it the like totally harshed my buzz. So, all right. So here we go. Uh, you know, real quick, like us, I'll I'll critique each one as we go. So just to impress, uh, like I said, not the first time I've seen this. I did get a, the honor of being a tester for this one. Um, I did not know what it was for though. I, I didn't know it was actually for Cartoon Network. So that's really cool. Um, I, you know, I could see where that could get really fun. Uh, I could see where it could get really silly. So definitely liking that one. Um, all right. Last one. Cosma Quest. Oh, I got a comment real quick, too. I love how these are um, three-dimensional. So very cool. All right. Let's go. Oh, far out. Get ready to free your mind. Dude, I have been waiting all day to free my mind. Let's do it. Nice. Tell old Cosmo I said, Hello, honey child. I will. Nice. Okay. So. Ah, this. This. It's simple. But I'm digging it. The, the, just the reflections on the water. The music. Everything is nice and mellow in here. So. Come with me now. As we explore the deep recesses of our minds. With Cartoon Network's Journeys VR. So. Now. <laughs> right. Alright. Let's go. Cosmoquist. <laughs> cool. You must Whoa. be here to replace me as supreme cosmic deity of this reality. Let's uh, see it's always work. kind of been my goal uh, to become the supreme cosmic deity of some we have reality. have a lot of work to do before I can hand over the reins. Okay, well, let's do this. To start your training, we need to go through a cosmic gate. Place this Bon Jovi fruit on the altar to open the <laughs> Bon Jovi fruit? Fruits and vegetables are a key to unlocking the universe. Oh, that's awesome. Didn't you know? I actually saw Bon Jovi in like 1987. The height of the whole era for that shoot stuff. And see what these dinky worlds have to offer. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna shoot through. Yay! Shoot through the chute. Ah, uh, home sweet Joan. Before we can make you a god, you gotta master the mysteries. Behind each of these gates is a high concept knowledge bomb. If you master all four lessons, then you can replace me as supreme deity. I hope you can do it. I need a hardcore vacation, baby. No, oh, you and me both. You and me both, man. So, you know what, though? I'm not going to do it. Uh, I am going to savor this one. I'm, I'm going to go back and I'm going to finish the other two before I actually dive into this. And I'm going to leave this for you to explore, uh, since this obviously... Uh, is the end of the experience here so but uh, it is definitely the end of the video so thank you so much for watching to the end if you made it this far you guys know i love it uh when you do that and 
uh, if this was your first time coming by the channel, man, thank you so much for coming by to check out what I do here on VR Gamer Dude. Uh, and if you want to play this one, I am going to throw a link for it down in the description. So if you have a VR headset, go grab a copy of this. It is a free experience, guys. You can't go wrong with free, right? And if you're like me and you love the trippy, cool, weird side of VR, you're going to dig it but for me i'm gonna go dig more of it off camera i'll talk to you guys later this is don signing off peace